When we talk about cleaning data in GCSE statistics, there are two main things we need to think about. Um, one of them is formatting, so formatting. And this would um, normally be about spreadsheets. So the use of spreadsheets and, and you know what would formatting do for us there? Okay, so we need to think about um, why it's important to do formatting in spreadsheets. Uh, the other one would be about outliers. So outliers. Now, when we're cleaning data and removing outliers, we're doing that so that our ca other calculations aren't affected, um, you know, by extreme values, okay? Now, when we talk about outliers in GCSE 36, there's two main ways we, we work out outliers. Um, one of them is using the interquartile range, and uh, the other one is using the standard deviation, okay? So, those two ways we need to think about when we're thinking about cleaning data. So, if it's a, if it's a question that's asked of us where we have to think about cleaning data, if there is um, interquartile range mentioned, then we're, we're thinking about outliers um, using the calculation um, upper quartile, upper quartile plus one point five times interquartile range. Okay, and that with the upper limit, and then we, we're also going to think about lower quartile take away one point five times interquartile range. Okay, uh, so that's one way to think about it. Now, if the question is talking about the mean and the standard deviation, then we're going to be thinking about um, the mean and then plus and minus three standard deviation. Okay, so three standard deviations. Okay, and anything that falls outside of mean plus three standard deviation or mean take away three standard deviations. Um, these will be considered outliers. Okay, so when we're thinking about cleaning data, two main things, formatting, and this is to do with spreadsheets. Okay, so I should say that as well. So this is to do with spreadsheets. And um, we're also thinking about outliers, and that will be using either interquartile range to find outliers or standard deviation to find outliers. Let's look at some examples. So here's an example of a question. Now, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to look at this table here. Now, if, if this table was in a spreadsheet, th there are many problems here. So we've got length of text message. We've got 73, 68, 35. But in a spreadsheet, I wouldn't be able to add this column now because it says 35 here. There's another problem. There's a comma here. Um, it says boy here, and I'm seeing gender there. So it looks like this has been swapped around. Okay, so there's there's lots of ways that we can clean the data before we can actually deal with length of text message. Maybe uh, to uh, uh, add them up or find the mean average or something like that. Um, we, we, there's a couple of things that we need to do. So this is cleaning data when we're thinking about formatting. So this 35 needs to be 35. This comma needs to be removed. This boy needs to be here and 48 needs to be on that side. And when I look along here as well, there's other problems. If I want to filter in the gender, I've got lots of categories that I can get. I can get male, I can get a capital F, I can get girl, I can get boy, boy, girl. I can get capital M, 48 will appear. There's a capital B, there's a capital G. There's lots of different ways the gender has been described to us here. So uh, we want to also clean this up okay, by maybe having um, only a few categories here, okay, so not all these different, uh, different categories, like for example, male and boy, we want to use the same thing for that, um, and here we were looking at, okay, so this we won't be able to add, okay, because 35, um, w w the spreadsheet will not recognize this 35 as a numerical value, it will recognize it as text, okay, so that won't work, so th these are some of the things around cleaning data. So here's another question uh, that we can think about. So uh, again, this looks like a spreadsheet and I'm, I'm seeing percentage of total sales for each year, 2013 up to 2017. The flavor is here. And I won't read the whole question. I'm just going to read from here. Explain one way that Laura can use the spreadsheet to check whether any of the data needs to be cleaned. Okay, so it looks like the formatting is not really a problem. Um, but I see that there's 176 here. Um, one thing that she could do, and, and this looks like percentages, so percentages I know need to add up to 100. And one thing she can do is she can have maybe um, adding 
uh, maybe a row here that adds these up okay or maybe she can highlight this and see what the sum is and she will find that um, all of them will need to add up to 100 each each of these columns will need to add up to 100 from here to here and um, if it doesn't she knows that there's a problem and she will need to clean the data so you know correct this mistake basically uh, next question is circle the cell in the spreadsheet that needs to be cleaned write down what you think the correct value should be so it's it's quite obvious that this needs to be cleaned and um, if it's 176 it, it may be that it's 17.6 okay it could be 1.76 but um, you know if you just do a quick addition here and see if 17.6 added with the other ones makes 100 then it looks like that's what the value should be so 17.6 Okay, so in this question we have Noah is investigating the reaction times of some athletes. He collects information from 50 athletes and records the data in a spreadsheet. He sorts the data from the least reaction time to the greatest reaction time. The first few rows and the last few rows of the spreadsheet of his spreadsheet are shown below. So reaction times, you know, the fastest reaction times here, the slowest ones there. Here are some of the summary statistics for all the data. So he's got the sum of all the re uh, reaction times. He's got um, each of these squared and the sum of that. He's got um, that he had 50 uh, recordings. So he had 50 athletes and he recorded it for 50 people. Then we've got standard deviation, 1.05. So this looks like it may not be useful to us because the standard deviation is given. And we have a range which is 5.4. Okay. Noah decides to clean the data before proceeding with his investigation. He models the reaction times using a normal distribution. Using the summary statistics, describe how Noah should clean the data and justify why he needs to clean the data. Okay, so this this question, um, I, I can see that I can't really see any problem with the formatting. Um, and, and then it looks like the, the issue might be that there might be outliers, okay? So we should be thinking about outliers. Now, um, interquartile range is, is not given here, okay? So I won't be looking at um, upper quartile plus 1.5 times interquartile range. I'm not going to look at that at all, but the standard deviation is mentioned, and it looks like I can find the mean because I don't need to add that up. That's been added up for me, and I can just simply divide by 50 to get the mean, so uh, in this question, what I, I think I should do is to find if there are any outliers and say that they should be removed. OK, so that will be cleaning the data in this question. OK, so um, I'll start writing out the answer for this now. OK, so what I should do is um, find the mean first. So let's find the mean. That would be 88 divided by 50. And that will give you 1.76. Uh, then standard deviation is given to us. We don't need to find it using this. Uh, we could maybe use that to find something else uh, using of the standard deviation formula. But in this question, we really don't need that. Um, so let's do 1.76 add 3 times the standard deviation. And then also do the takeaway as well. So let's do 1.76 add 3 times 1.05 and that will give us 4.91 we also want to do 1.76 take away 3 times the standard deviation which is 1.05 that gives us negative 1.39 now notice that we can't have a negative reaction time. Okay, the slow, uh, the fastest reaction time was zero point three, and and this is is not going to be useful to us. So none of these are outliers, and also when I look at the four point nine one, I can see that the five point three and five point seven, these are actually outliers. Okay, it, 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 just looking at the table as well, you can see that it's quite far away, but we can't assume. Okay, so we need to use this calculation to determine that. And he said. Is using a normal distribution and when we're thinking about normal distribution things that are outside of three standard deviations from the mean would be considered outliers okay so what we're going to say so the question here was using the summary statistics describe how Noah should clean the data and justify why he needs to clean the data so um, we need to describe how he should clean it and justify why he needs to do it okay so uh, Noah 
uh, should clean the data by um, determining if there are any outliers okay and then we're going to say um, what else we need to do describe how Noah should clean the data and justify why um, he needs to clean the data so uh, Noah should clean the data by determining if there are any outliers we've done that and we found that there are outliers okay so we need to now say that um, 5.3 and 5.4 are outliers as they are three more than three standard deviations from the mean and I think this is also a justification why he needs to clean the data so 5.3 and 5.4 are outliers as they are more than three standard deviations from the mean he should remove them okay and that's it okay so we've described how he should do it We've done the calculations, we've found that there were outliers, and we said that he should remove them.